morning. I'm on uh, Doctor's Lake this morning, uh, Lakeshore Ramp, and uh, going to uh, fish the lake today because the wind's out of the southeast, which makes the river uh, not a good place as it gets windier. So try a couple of spots I know where redfish here usually are, and uh, we'll see how it goes today. Thanks for watching. Missed that. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Not very big. Again, not a keeper. But it's a redfish on a top water. Hey, baby. She's gonna give up on this. That's on that. There it is. That's a good one. What did he chase that thing? He hopped it a couple times. Yep. This is definitely a keeper. Beautiful fish. Yes, sir. Doggy. Yeah, you tapped it a couple times, didn't you? There we go. Got about 20, 20 inches. And 19. I'm going to keep you. Just because you're a good size. And we'll see how we do. Oh, that feels good. That feels like a good one. Yes, sir. About the same size.
was probably 18 inches. Ooh, baby. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, baby. Fast 76 rod is my favorite rod right now. Nine guides, cork handle, and a Celtex 4000 reel. 50 pound braid. And the reason I got 50 pound braid is my tarpon setup, one of my tarpon setups. A 25 pound mono green Berkeley big game mono leader. I use fluorocarbon, it's too expensive. I can buy a whole spool of uh, 300 yards of uh, big game green for about $10. And it lasts the rest of my life, so. And I tie an FG knot and a loop knot on the jig. My loop knot is what I'm using 90% of the time now on just about everything. Uh, it's a good strong knot and it lets the jig flop around nicely. And I pinched down the barb on my jig hook. Makes it much easier to get the fish off. I really don't feel like I've lost anything. The trout, you know, they're gonna tear their mouth no matter what, you whether you got a barb or not, so. That was a largemouth bass. See that? Holy cow! This is a good one. This is a good one. Man, he took drag right away. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's a catfish. What? <laughs> what? What? A channel cat on a paddle tail? What? And a big one. Holy cow. Oh. Holy cow. Who'd have thunk it? Let's get you on camera here, buddy. Oh, my God.
my god, that's a big red. Oh my god, it's a big one. Oh my god. That is a big red. Oh my god. This one's huge. <laughs> this could be over slot. Oh my god, he hardly hit that either. That's the biggest red I've caught in a long, long time. I haven't caught him yet. size of this puppy. Holy cow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Man, he ate that. Well, it really <laughs> just came right out. Oh my god. What is he? Okay, put him up here. He is 20... Seven. He's over 27 inches. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the biggest one in a long time. Okay, going back, buddy. That's uh, eight redfish and one catfish. Um, all on DOA paddle tails. The, um, we've got a keeper in the live well, it's about 19 inches, 18 and a half inches, something like that. Caught a 28 incher. Uh, with that back, you'll see that. Um, but uh, overall, good morning, great morning. Wind is nice and cool where I was in Doctor's Lake, and uh, I'll be back here this weekend. Uh, enjoy, thank you.